In this lecture, we are going to hopefully run off our fourth scanner tool uh, by creating a, a very beautiful display banner that will display whenever we launch the program or when we issue the help menu, when we request for the help menu by entering dash h or dash, dash half to view the help menu and then that beautiful banner will dis also display just like what we have in uh, the uh, tools that we use in uh, in the community. So uh, for example, let's launch uh, the Habesta tool that we use for uh, OSINT for gathering uh, emails and uh, for gather basically for gathering emails, we know the Habesta. So let me just launch it by entering the command sudo uh, the Habesta, the Habesta. Now uh, enter dash h and then hit enter now enter my password all right perfect so we can see the harvester tool has launched and when we go up we can see the uh, text banner here that uh, is generated when we launch the, the dash h dash help command so we also want to implement the same thing in our tool in our port scanner tool so that it will look like a uh, very professional so it will look very much a uh, professional tool that is used in the community so now uh, we are going to go to our code and then create a, a function that to display this such a banner. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, I'm going to define a new function that will be responsible for displaying the banner. I'm going to place it at the first uh, function, even before the uh, get argument uh, function. Okay. So I'm going to define a function and I'm going to call it uh, display. Uh, banner all right so uh, this banner is a function and it's not going to require any argument all right so now display banner wherever we invoke it we expect it to display a very beautiful text all right and i'm going to create a variable called banner uh, text which will be the text that will contain the display banner um, i'm going to create it by defining a triple uh by creating a triple quoted string and then I'm going to uh, create it within the string. So basically, I've created a triple uh, quoted strings. I'm going to uh, insert the string within this triple quoted uh, strings. All right. So uh, to generate our uh, text to looks uh, similar to what we have in the harvester here, we are going to make use what we call ASCII generator. A normal ASCII that you know, American Standard Corporate Information Interchange ASCII generator is a uh, text generator, Ask, ASCII art generator. Uh, when you go to Google and then Google ASCII art generator, you are going to see several of them, and that is what is basically used to generating this text that you are seeing like this. So just go to the go to the browser and then uh, Google and then uh, look for the text uh, uh, ASCII. Ad generator so this is one similar tool and uh, with the font uh, computer and this is I, I like this one it looks very good so if I uh, to access this site you just come to Google and then you and you search for ASCII art generator so it, the search result will return to you several of sites that you can go and generate this ASCII art generator right so you can click on any of them go there and then try to see if you are able to generate the I tell ASCII ad that looks so good for you, then you can just uh, copy it and then come and paste it there. So I'm going to make use of this site to generate the ASCII ad generator. And as you can see, I'm going to type, I'm going to replace what I want to appear here. So I'll just come here, replace this, and then I'm going to write it as my fourth uh, scanner. Scanner, so fourth scanner. So that is the name of our tool. And the font I'm using, I like this computer font, so I'm using this uh, computer. All right, I'm using this computer font, but there are several fonts that you can uh, select from. So, but I love this computer font, so I'm going to make use of it. And you can also play around with the width and the height, but I'm going to leave it the way it is now. So, all I have to do now is to copy it, select and copy, I'll copy it. So, I'll copy it now. I can go there and paste it in my code. So I'll go to my code here uh, and then I'm going to simply paste it here. All right. So perfect. So as you can see, this is the way uh, it is. So this is how our banner is going to get displayed whenever uh, we launch the dash health command 
or when we launch the event tool to make use of it, this banner will also get displayed. All right. So, uh, but there are some few things that I also want to go look at that other the harvester and then try to create something similar. So the harvester 3.1.0. So let's name our uh, give our the version of our tool. Uh, the version of our tool is we can we can add some text here. Uh, port scanner. Uh, Port scanner version 1.0. This is the first version. My add functionalities to it and then upgrade the version. So uh I'll still go to the terminal and then try to make something okay, call it by okay. So call it by me. I'm going to write my name. Uh call it uh face and gamma. Uh, I'm going to write my name and then so I just look something uh, very professional like the harvester. So uh, Phoenix Academy, okay. Then my email, Phoenix Academy, uh, Phoenix Academy. My contact is uh, Faisal at phoenixacademy.com. So Faisal at uh, Phoenix Academy, uh, Phoenix Academy dot com. Okay, so we have that. We have been able to achieve uh, that. All right. So this is this text we get displayed whenever the user enter dash h dash help command to see the help command or when he decided to launch the application just as we have we have it here all right so uh, i'm going to move it up okay and then within the function i'm going to print it so that whenever any user that uh invoke this function he is going to get out out this banner printed for him so i'm going to print what are we printing we are printing the banner text so the banner text will get uh, printed all right so we define the function but we did not uh return the function no we didn't uh call the function from any line of code so uh we are going to call it within uh this argument parser here uh, this argument parser has a has a field called uh description so has a field called description and we are going to assign the value of that description as our as the function that will invoke our banner. So the name of our banner uh, is with the name of the function that contain our banner is display banner. So basically, what this uh, field description does is that it's going to have some text messages that we are going to uh, assign it with the value of a text message that will get displayed. Whenever a user enter dash head dash h or dash health to see the help menu, this banner will get displayed. And whenever the user decide to run this application, the display banner will also displace. So that makes to just so basically just to make it the way it, when we enter dash h to see the harvester, we can see that the help menu was launched alongside this uh, their banner for the tool. So our application will also behaves in a very much uh, similar way. All right, so. So we now we have invoked it here. So let's go to the terminal and then run it and see. And then we'll come back and add some other uh, formatting to it. So I'll go to the terminal and then try to run, launch it and then see what I'm going to get as my output. Okay, so I'll just come here. Let me create a new another new uh, tab so that we don't we won't have this uh we won't close the harvester. So I'll just come here, open new tab. Right, so I'm going to navigate to where I have that uh, that file lectures. Okay, so you see the desktop uh, lectures. All right, and then I'm at the time at the, I'm at the directory now, so I'm going to enter sudo uh, Python three, then uh, port scanner. That's py. I'm going to enter the positional options ten dot zero dot two dot fifteen. Then the type of scan I want to perform is a scene scan and okay so uh okay let me try x scan so x scan I want to perform x scan over fort uh, 80 and then over fort list uh, uh all right okay so uh, before that let's help launch the dash h command and then see whether it will get displayed the banner will get displayed alongside the help uh, menu before running the application in a proper way so uh, enter my password and then let's see what we are going to get okay so it seems we have an error here we have argument of type function is not 
uh, iterable so where do we have actually this uh, arrow so we're going to go and fix the arrow so that we have our program uh, running uh, proper okay so put scanner get argument we have a line uh, post scanner that py line 3 to 1 option to get argument all right option that you get again line 3 2 1 all right so we're going to go and see where the error is and then try to fix it so the error issue that we seems to have is this display banner here this is a function call so it has to be we have to uh follow it with a open parenthesis okay so that it will invoke the display banner function and the display banner function uh remember that we actually to print the text for us so it's going to basically print banner.txt which is the text that we have here all right so i'm going to go back to the terminal and then run this uh, program and if there's any problem also try to come over and see how we can uh, fix it so i'm um, clear the terminal and then run and see what we are going to have as an output all right perfect so we are able to get the help menu alongside the banner that we want to have displayed so we can see our banner put scanner for scanner version 1.0 quadriva official gamma phoenix academy facial at phoenix academy.com so perfect so uh but we will go over and make some little uh, improvement to it so that it will also display in color just as we have the harvester here uh display in a color all right so in a very colorful uh banner so we also have all the here also colored all right so luckily for us we are we know how to use colorama so we go over and make use of colorama and then try to uh format the text so it's going to have a very beautiful color so since it's come with yellow color, let's make it of yellow color to also display it. So I'm going to make it of a uh, starting format. And then, uh, so I just come here and type F, uh, F, and then this is a string. I'll pass this as a string, uh, pass this as a string, but then pass this as a variable. Uh, I'm going to make it of a brace so that the bar, actual value of the banner.txt, which is the variable, the value will be replaced by this banner.txt. And then I'm going to uh, make use of my color now. I'm going to inside my color. I'm going to make use of yellow. If I, uh, I'm going to make use of yellow. And then after displaying the banner DXT in yellow, uh, I, I want it to reset. I'm go back to the default colors of the uh, terminal. All right. So if I haven't defined yellow, I have to go to the colorama where I define colors and then also the play. So I don't have yellow. So I'll come over here and then enter yellow. Uh, yellow and then we have it so we can also define it for four dot yellow uh, four uh, dot uh, yellow right so we have yellow I'll save it and I'll go back and launch the uh, program again all right so let me save it and then so we go to the terminal and then run the uh, script again I clear so and I just want the, the help menu and then see whether the our banner is going to be printed in yellow color just as we coded it right now. Okay, so we have something uh and c4 object has no attribute uh yellow, all right. And c4, all right. So we need to go and make use of init as I was saying here. Yeah, so we need init. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, import four, and then I'm going to also import. okay, okay. So uh, the problem is not from init. I was saying ANSI. Okay, so uh, this problem is from is not init. Actually, the issue is yellow because uh, yellow is supposed to be in uppercase letters, not uh, lowercase letters. So we have that four. So I'm going to uh, write yellow. All right. So as I've said earlier, init will also we all only have effect when we are working on Windows environment. It's uh, Linux. Uh, we don't need uh, init, so I'm going to do away with this init. You can go already document documentation on uh, the Colorama documentation to see how uh, what I'm actually saying about uh, init. So I'll do away with the uh, init and then uh, run the program now. Clear the terminal, then run the program and see the output. All right, perfect. So as you can see, we are able to have our banner displayed in a very beautiful uh, yellow uh, color. Okay. So now what if we want to make use of the program proper, we also want to have the banner displayed. So we just run the program. Uh, we want to perform a port scan. I'm going to issue the IP, the target, then the 0 0.2.15. I want to perform a pin scan. Okay, I want to perform a pin scan. And then 
I want to uh, so we have to, okay so with, uh, the fourth that I'm going to scan single foot is 45 fourth list I want to enter some fourth list say 20 uh, 33 uh, 23 21 uh, 53 uh, uh, 53 okay and then the fourth range that I want to also scan uh, fourth range is 100 to 200 all right so then i just hit enter all right so we run the command uh sudo okay so i mistype sudo let me go back again and uh enter the correct uh, something uh, sudo python 3 port scan if you i and then hit enter so let's hit enter and then see what uh the output is going to be whether we could get the display banner displayed All right, perfect. So you can see our display banner has displayed a very beautiful banner. So now let's await the result of the scan uh, result. <coughs> okay, perfect. So we can see our uh, port scanner has uh, successfully uh, returned to us the result of uh, scanning those uh, ports. Uh, most of the ports are closed. Uh, one of the ports is open. One three nine is open. Uh, one three four is open. So some of the ports are open while some are closed. So we can see, so, so with this, we have successfully implemented our port uh, scanner. All right. So in the next lecture, uh, in the next section, we continue with our ethical hacking with Python 3.